I should hope. Should hope. <laughs> yep, we are live. Hello there, viewers. Sun Service here, back with yet more Ultimate Admiral Dreadnoughts as America. This is episode 18, I think. I'm hoping I'm right on saying that it's episode 18. Um, And we are starting off with the last two major refits that need to be done, which is the North Carolinas, which their major thing is getting a 6-inch deck. 6-inch deck and a new finding gear, retriding and stuff. We also get those and... Full auto loading electro hydraulic turrets. Oh my god, you've been on Krupp 1 this entire time. No. The member of this class that has seen combat is very, very, very lucky. And I think saying it that way is putting it lightly. That it didn't instantaneously get shredded by the Japanese battle cruisers that made us realise that the deck armour is need changing. North Carolinas and then the Yashimas. Yes, we are going to be keeping the Yashimas around for longer. If you have a problem with that, then um, please take it up with the complaints board, who will hear your request in five to six million years from now. Oh god, it's now becoming just a running joke at the complaints port. <laughs> but yeah. It's time for us to now deal with the Yashima class vessels. Of which all surviving units, because I believe a couple were sunk by us. But all surviving units of this class were successfully brought into American service. And a couple of them have actually shown very, very decent service so far. Oh, God. Gotta re back re add back in the standard superimposed. No, twin fittings. I do really like the Japanese style turrets. They're quite good looking in my opinion. You already have gear 2, so that's that's awesome. Electro-hydraulic, not electro uh, not electric. Crook 5, you've already got good enough there for me to let you through. You're getting those retrofitted onto you. Well, these things already had a lot of stuff that I would call useful to have on board. I 
then again, they were refitted relatively modern compared to other vessels. Hey, Avocado. Yeah, we can't. And oh, God, why is the dog marking annoying? But getting in my ears badly. Oh, God. You really should keep your corgis under control. Maybe have your friends in your captain's cabin make sure that they are not barking, please. How essentially the game works is that it gives you all the Japanese stylings and everything, but you still... But the texts themselves are actually the American texts. If you get my meaning, Avocado. Um... Oh god, come on. Dreadnoughts, let me back in the game, please. Uh, this is gonna take a while, Avocado. I think. No, no, it's let me back in, it's let me back in. Thank god, thank god. It's let me back in. So, North Carolina and Yoshima, 1923, are gone. I'm going to have the Yoshimas go in first. Odessa, Cockburn, Dublin, and Spilato. And then I will slowly trickle in NCs. I saw my soul come to take over. MC, better look over your shoulder. Yeah, you know. Ring it on, I win now. Right, okay, so we got the refit numbers we can have. And then what I'm going to do as well, we're now in a state where I can confidently say we are going to insult Germany into war. But... If I can do it, I am going to refit everyone without radar, with radar. Effective as soon as humanly possible, because, yeah. Radar is great. <laughs> you need radar if you're going to... But did we fit the Samars with radi radar? Did they get radar? Yes, yes, you can invade the Bismarck Archipelago. That's if it's under their control, that is. Um,
Oh, the link screen's done. Us in China have got problems. Bangladesh, I'm sorry, we can't give you a hippogriff. Germany, Germany, I'm sorry to say we want war with you. This is going to be our second war with Germany. The first one going well enough that we took not only just territory, but we also took a couple of their fleet. A couple of ships of their fleet. Um, battle cruisers and battleships. Uh, real life September or in game September? Ah. Uh. Yes, you can. Yes, you can. You'll get your own destroyers. <laughs> You'll get your own destroyers because you have your own light cruisers, you have your own battleships, you have your own battle cruisers. And yep, Bismarck Archipelago is German controlled. I think most of the work is going to be done by the army going into Serbia, Hungary, Slovenia, then like Austria, Galatia, Bohemia, Moravia, Southern Germany, Northern Italy. But we are going to invade northern Italy and central Italy. We we need to we need to free half the Italian people. Give half the Italian people freedom. And who better to do it than us? Because America, freedom. Okay, fourteen inch mark four on the way. Destroyer design is done. No, I'm not going to send you Worcester. <laughs> Worcester Shire Sauce. <laughs> oh god, I'm a Brit and I have a problem pronouncing that. Worcester Shire. Oh, fuck. Worcester Shire. Now look what you've done, Avocado. Apologize. No, not really. No need to apologize. Right, Japan. We want improved relations with you because we're about to have a common foe. That being Germany. Follow your common sense, you cannot hide yourself behind a fairy tale forever. Okay, okay, I'll give you a bigger flagship. Bigger in speed. Wait no 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 no! I got the, I got the best way to give you a bit uh, bigger flagship. Um, I will sort that out though when it the time comes. No, no one else is getting a John S. McCain. Germany increased tension. Okay, good news. We can. Uh, Send the other North Carolinas in. 
also I got a vessel that I if it doesn't have radar on nope you don't have radar Bella do you have radar I think everyone pre ND doesn't have radar. No, it's everyone pre London look. Am I right? No, 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 it's everyone pre hippogriff. Yeah, so I need to prioritize a class to get range for a uh, radar. And that prioritized class is going to be the Mish. Hmm. No, Hatch. You know what? Yeah, yeah, it'll be your ultimate capital ship. The ultimate Filipino warship. One final large massive warship with your only caveat being that 18.4 inch guns is the largest size you can use in gun caliber. Ottomans were not giving you a Michigan. Germany's trying to take control of places. My god. Right, Japan, 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 Japan. Friends. Japan, let's um, watch an episode of Friends together and it'll make us realise we're more friendly than... we should be more friendly than we are. Okay. Priority class for rebuild is going to be the war... Uh, radar is going to be war sweat. No! 18, okay then, you drive a hard bargain. 18.2. You're fu okay, you can have 18.5, I'll go 18.8. .8. It's still got a four times table thingy in it. Okay, so, yep, yeah, War Spite. Good news for you. You get radar. You already had the deck. That's great. Okay, secondary guns. Add a whole bunch of freeze and a. Yeah, only the freeze are going to get added there. Sorry, sorry, 3.1s. Agam, what do you mean 5 inch 39? 5 inch 38, thank you. Oh, and they're Mark V now. Woohoo! The main guns don't get changed. Oh well. Yahoo! War Spite! War Spite, the pride of the fleet. Lives on another day. I like the fourth. The, the four times table is my favorite times table, okay? <laughs> That's my reasoning. And I prefer sticking with even numbers, except for 15 inch guns. That is the only caveat, but I prefer sticking with even numbers. Okay, so the war spites are now prepared for radar conflict
Yeah. And if I can at least keep one number, one number in it, even if it's just the decimal point number within the four times table, I'm fine, because 18 isn't the four times table. 16 is, though. That's kind of why I like using 16s a lot, other than 15s. And this campaign, I'm only using fives instead of fours, because we're, we're just the Americans. So yeah, it was through um, popular knowledge that the Warspike class are a lot better than anything else of why they they get personally sent off to get the radars first, their radars first. Oh my god! New way ants. I'm bringing the new way Amsterdam's in for massive, massive reconstruction. First off, because they need um, they need the radar put on them. Secondly, how the hell did I let them leave the shipyards so fucking slow? Uh, sixteen. That's especially American. Hey, 16 is 4 times 4, okay? It's 4 squared. It's the square number of my favourite times table and... Scheiser! Um... Okay. We plan for this. We plan for this, new ways. Um, we didn't plan for the torpedoes not working. Yeah, we didn't plan for that, so. Yeah, new ways, I'm, I'm sorry, you've been downgraded. Um, been downgraded there, you've been upgraded there, you've been given cheaper stuff there. You are now going 32 knots. Mad, we're a little overweight. What do you mean we're overweight? <laughs> oh my god! If you were another one I forgot to do the crook for. Okay. At least you got the coincidence right. Oh, fuck. Many bulkheads. There. USS Nui Amsterdam and her sisters. Oh, come on, game. I just click save design. Not it make an entire new game. Hey, I have you know I keep well away from... No, I'll have you know, we British use 16-inch guns. Admittedly only once, and um, only on two ships, but still, we use 16-inch guns. And we were going to use more 16-inch guns on the Lions. And then admittedly World War Two and bankruptcy got in the way, but... Um, <coughs> Still! And then we just went down a 14 inch. Although, we do have the excuse for 18s because we Brits were the first nation to use 18 inch guns. Suck it, Japan! <laughs>
Okay. So yeah, New Way Amsterdam original. Goodbye, New Way Amsterdam rebuild. Go. Go, 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 go. Oh, mad. I'm sure it's fine. I'm sure the refit times aren't going to be massively blown out of proportion. See, four months. Oh, hold on. No, I'm in the wrong view. See, four months. War spites. Oh, North Carolina's two turns. War spites. Fudge. Biscuits. Hippogriffs, seven. We're building two for the Ottomans or the Hallowells. Yeah, it's fine. It's a fine. Everything is a fine. I already... Twitch! I already had... Japs. Uh... Wait, what the f... How the frick did you get unmodded? Oh my god. Mod. Oh, I think I know what it was. You had your mod powers automatically revoked when I timed you out. For, um... Yesterday. That's my hypothesis. But yeah, Japs Japs is a word that is that is already allowed though. I set that in my option specifically as a word to let through. Oh, man. Twitch, why are you fucking wrong with my settings? Oh, man. Why, oh why, oh why is this taking forever, oh why, oh why, oh why is this taking so long, so long, so long, so long, so long, oh why, please tell me why it's taking so long. Right. Yes, I know it works now. Um. No! Refuse! It's the Russians. Mark 4, 14 inch guns. No, we're not building your hip. No, we're not building you one of those. Okay. The next turn is September. We all know what September means. <sighs> Is everyone ready for the, just this entire episode being design a ship with Mad Admiral Avocado and his 18.5 inch guns that he um, has got to overcompensate for his small dick? <laughs> I'm waiting for the hey in Twitch chat right now. <laughs> there it is! Ottomans, sorry Ottomans, you're not getting, you're not getting your ship. I 
Okay, I'm getting the ship design up. I'll distract you. That, that'll distract you. Uh, dis <laughs> you're like one of those... You're like one of those villains that, um... It's all evil and scary and stuff, but then there's just the one specific thing that distracts them that turns up right at the very second that they're about to do their evil thing, and it's like, Woo! <laughs> I don't live in Plymouth. I don't know where where thine gets where you get thine information, but I do not live in Plymouth. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. We've already got the name for your ship. USS Platypus. <laughs> Oh yeah, how big is um, your last ship? Your last ship is 85,000 tons, by the way. Uh, so if we give you mass, uh, choose this, if we give you this hull, um, yeah, you could go up to 109,000. I'm not going to allow you to have that. But yeah, uh, USS Platypus. Um, USS Platypus, and okay, so. Okay, just for. Um, okay, so good news! Your ship will be 89,999. Okay, 100. Right, 100,000. No, sorry, ninety nine, nine ninety nine. <laughs> One ton, <laughs> one ton, just to screw with you. Okay, okay, okay. You drive a hard bargain. One hundred, one, two, one. There. <laughs> Okay, okay. You drive a hard bargain. A hundred thousand tons. Okay. Um, oh, bad news. You can't go with the best towers. The ship is too thin for that. Um, you can't go with the second... You can go with the second best. The ship is okay enough for the second best. Now, I know, I know you're going to want the largest guns you can have, 18.5, so... I'm going to just put the 18.5s on, and you can give me the layout. <laughs> right, um... I gave you triples in ABX currently. Um, just let me know if you want more. Oh, 50 cows. Duh. See if one would actually do well. Turbines two. Do BX. Uh, I'm sorry, but you've now made that. You've now made what you're ascent. What you were calling B turret. I'm sorry, is now an A turret because it's the forwardmost main gun. So it's an A turret now. Just like this turret would go down to Y and goes up to X, this one becomes an A now. But, oh god. 
Do I want to know what you were trying to build now? Right, we got the main guns down, so leave the main guns. I'll sort out the modules while you are contemplating all your design features. Hey, Dad! I didn't use the front door! Over 30 knots. Oh, you need an extra final. Uh, if any more funnels are needed, we can't fit them. I think that looks slightly better. Super duper on the ring, yeah. Of course, you want the eight super duper, right? Standard and a tool over that. Standard quad eights. Let me guess. I guess we could try. That's what I was saying, the let me guess. efficient to swap these two around or sh is this a don't question me situation because then we don't need two separate directors for mm, okay oh armor quality 170 Armor quality 170. Okay. Exercising our Second Amendment rights.
again the forward tower issue is cropped up again. Meaning that there's going to have to be two inches up on those levels, but there. And there. But also these two get 3.1s. And then the ceremonial guns for when we need to do gun salutes for important events are in place. Fifty eight inch fifty five inch. 38. Okay, gun lanes fixed. Add another eight up front. Placement where you're still on that side of the breakwater, but you can actually fire everywhere you want to. Oh, this thing somehow still has full forward firing movement as well. Just to give me the armor values. Four. Four. Okay. Thing. Thirty one five. We're going okay. If you want the biggest belt, we're going to be only protected up to fifteen thousand meters.
take 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 I haven't received anything of armors yet, so yeah. I've just armored platypus up like a brick. I was close to a brick so I can get her. Come on, Avocado, I want to go to war this episode, and... Uh, don't tell me you've passed out. <sighs> Thank God you didn't pass out. <sighs> Whilst waiting, I figured out that... The maximum armor we can go to will have us protected up to 15,000 yards. And I've just given you a random 31 and a half, 7, 7, 6, 4, over 16, 8 conning tower. Yeah, okay. Oh yeah, terror armors as well, they're armoured up as much as I can armour them up to before you ask. Well, we can't over armour, unfortunately, because of the calibre of gun. I think, I think Jack may have hiccups. Oh no, they stopped. Okay, so is this fine? Okay, good. Platypus, your massively giant battleship of only one ever built. Is ready to begin construction. I think we could single if Platypus comes out before war with Germany, which I very much doubt it would, but if it does, you can single handedly take the Bismarck Archipelago with just one ship. You cannot hide yourself behind a fairy tale. Okay, USS Platypus, $4.7 billion worth of taxpayers' money. It's. Oh god, my ships are cheap, and then you're, you come along with your Jolos and now Platypus. And be like, I'm about to bankrupt the entire American country. Oh yeah, and you have to be suspended currently because of dockyard issues. Don't worry, you'll be you'll be back to normal soon. Okay, so.
my plan of action for war with Germany will be to have everyone possible in place to navally invade northeast Italy. Well, the area that is northeast Italy. Right, um... So those guys are moving into Spilato. Got Kataro, we could send a small fleet over. Yeah, we got a small fleet that can fit in Kataro. Over you go. Mark 511s. Give me better six, 15s or 16s or whatever. Give me better guns, not. Uh, advanced hull materials. Cruiser design, it's. Um, we got the fast battleship recently, so it's more heavy cruiser stuff. Five, five, three. Okay, finances are all better than. Okay, Mad Admiral. I am going to pre prepare your fleet for the Bismarck archipelago invading duties. Yeah, your flagship's currently in Singapore right now. It's been in Singapore ever since it was constructed. But, yep, out it goes for its first ever combat sailing. Well, sailing just in general. And anyone in Hong Kong, Seattle, or Hallowell? Next up is um, Vostok, and then that's the that's the Pacific Fleet, bar USS Phantom, sent out and away. Oh, and Arizona. Refits are completed.
Now you're probably going to have to wait until those other refits are done before your battleship can get constructed. Well, has, have its construction continued just because of how large it is, dock sites capacities. Holo. Ah, it's vanishing. Okay, Germany disliked us um, calling them. They for some reason disliked us calling them classifuses. We have the space. Your ship is now constructing. Okay, I'm making the executive decision. The Bremertons are being retired to museums because of how old they are. They're too old for... They're too old for naval service, so they have gone to museums. And now our heavy cruiser force entirely consists of the Hallowells. Don't you ever say, I just walked away. I will always want you. <laughs> of course the dishes. I think the I think the holos are gonna do a lot better than the platypus. If you want my expert opinion. Uh my non expert, sorry, opinion. I think the holos are gonna do better, the older guys are gonna do better than the newer ones. France and the Republic of China, France and Germany, and that is ruined our relations with Germany even more. That is awesome. It's this turn, it's gonna happen this turn, it's gonna happen this turn. I'm so excited, I can't hide it. Right, let's send out the war fleets. For that's the art of war. War fleets. Thank you for existing. Seven inch, and then it's only the two inch, and then small guns are done for good. Turret mechanisms, it's quad turrets on light cruisers. This turn, okay. It's time, time again call the American people and say we're at war. It seems that Germany didn't get the message. Don't touch the boats. Yes, stereo. to claim it. Let's see if you can get that one avocado. This thing has got king like a racket ball. Oh, 
graphical, cool, sorry. Oh, the Russians have created the plans for Moscow. Okay, is it going to get embarrassingly sunk by the smallest by the smallest piece of weaponry that is available for anti uh, no, it wasn't entirely the smallest, but meh. Yeah. Well is it gonna get sunk in an embarrassing way that um the nation who lost it tries to cover it up by ha by saying it sunk in an even more embarrassing way. At war with China. Would China first? Also, and sorry, we can't give you any more new ships yet. Um, we have just entered war with a nation that I thought we wouldn't be entering war with. Mad Admiral, your fleet has been redesignated invasion targets. <coughs> Melvin St. Louis. Nothing in Kursov. It's the Phantom there. We can send the Phantom over. We thought the Chinese were our friends, they were helping with the Russian problem. But no, no, they've shown their true colours, they're the... They have the Enemy of the State Award. Ah, there's USS Shaftesbury. Okay, I'm going to send um, fleet to send. Where's War Spite? I want War Spite up in. Um, War spites in Bangkok. One night in Bangkok makes a hard man humble. Yeah, so is to Paul, Saint Paul as well. But yeah, you have been rerouted, and my flagship is even joining you guys because it seems it was um, rerouted to a. Um, to one of our far-reaching colonies <laughs> instead of the home territory where it should have been. Yeah, I think that's a decent enough fleet to invade um, Northern China with, don't you think? Also, Germany, yeah, we are definitely Definitely on the path of war Germany as well, but right now, dealing with China is the more important thing. Cardo, you're still there? Of course we blockade him. They're asking for war, so we give them a war. Sorry, we can't give you a Michigan right now. We are in wartime conditions, and wartime conditions mean we cannot we cannot give out any 
warships to allied nations. That's just a unfortunate rule of our water of our water conditions. Port strike, port strike, naval invasion. No. Okay. Um, the holo will see combat a lot quicker than our pole. They still had torpedo boats. They still had torpedo boats in the 1930s. Avocado, it's your perfect nation. Battleship did well in its first combat. Three destroyers were squatted. That's uh, squatted away. And then, um, were squatted away, and they're now. Uh, I think they're only just shards of metal on the bottom of the sea with, um. 
how small the vessel. I think I think just one of the shells was half the size of that ship. Oh yeah, and there's a load of damage to Shanghai as well. What happened to the other port strike? I guess we didn't go ahead with it. Um, okay, Germany, 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 Germany. Good news. Um, good news. We are taking Ancona off you. Because you're not as big of a threat to us as Italy has, is. Um, so... Yeah, I don't feel scared. Now taking over in Kona. I just love in this campaign, we... We here at the US Navy have only one thing we fear. The Italians. They're the only ones who have been able to provide us with massive defeats even when I did fight the battles. So, yeah. But also, I think we are about to cause the dissolving of dissolvement of China and somehow become more friendly with the Russians even if I still need to get rid of them get rid of them entirely well I know the next place to invade of the Russians though as we took the Black Sea already Murmansk that is the next logical place to invade off of them Oh, an avocado. I've got a new name for the Brit British, by the way. Yes, exactly. I've got a new name for the British in this campaign because they're they're no longer the British. They are the criminal empire because Aust Australia is like the most important place they've got left, and Australia was historically where we used to send our criminals. There goes us invading, invading, invading into Germany. And Charleston and New Amsterdam has found heavy cruisers, light cruisers, and transports. And Dorian, I'm not even going to fight that. Hmm. 10.4. Two single ten point fours stuff. I'm going to not fight that, and I'm not even going to auto resolve it. There's no money, there's no possessions, only obsession. I don't need that now. Take my money. Take my obsessions.
Come on, loading screens. Finish. Finish already so I can make the doom of China come a little quicker. The rapture is coming for you, China. And its form is a whole bunch of American warships. Spain are hating us. Japan is starting to not uh, more dislike us. The Ottomans want a light cruiser. I can provide you a light cruiser. Is there any important fleet units down here that I can send? No. <sighs> ah, bonefish in New Amsterdam this time. No, we can't. We ain't gonna fight that one. China has sent men over to help the Germans. Seems they have signed an alliance agreement. Oh no! Anyway! Oh, and Germany has taken the time to, to make a very decisive decisive action that's probably going to go against them, not towards them succeeding. They have scrapped the battlecruiser Moltke. From 1930. Claiming she is too old. Claiming that she is old and outdated because she's in the 1930. Because it's from the year of 1930, sorry. <laughs> um, I don't think they have a battleship. <laughs> I can check. But I think the other nations got there before us in terms of killing China's battleships. Okay, Germany got a new destroyer design. V forty nine. I don't believe it's V forty nine for any minute, I think it's more V a hundred something, but Germany have three capital ships. Uh, we have over 50. Um, yeah, China have no battleships. They kind of um, forgot that part of the training. Ah, USS Hippogriff. Lead of your class, you are to go in and help support the fleet. Yeah, New Haven's there, she's fine. 
So yeah, we are in Radiant Manteria right now. Uh, that may change. That may change pending... Pending what happens in the invasion with the Chinese fleet. Um, well, China being invaded. Because if Eastern China gets successfully invaded, the Chinese are gone, they're out. Finished. History. Okay, so it's the older, some of the older ships. The only, Puerto Rico here is going, I think is going to be the most important, I think all the cruisers are going to be the most important ones here because the cruisers have radars. Battle cruisers also have radars, I think. hits and
Dante. Rico.
Odegaard's gone, Preussen has surrendered. took a whole bunch of damage there. Good thing is you can leave, go back into port and repair once the invasion of Encona is done. Not before, after it's done. But Germany's battleship is gone for good. A vacation in a foreign land. Uncle Sam does the best he can. Fight to the end, you shouldn't have taken over the Balkans. Um, okay, this isn't the right fleet for it. Well, the right fleet I wanted to see do this, but it's a fleet and they're doing this, so let's do it. War, war, we love the war. Well, it's USS War Spy. It's USS War Spy, I believe. It should be fine. It'll be fine. With St. Paul and St. Louis as well, we've got the two saints here. And we've got to Paul as well. Surely that means something. Aggressive fire. Aggressive fire. Aggressive. And the Phantom returns. USS Phantom originally USS Rotterdam. is here to show the Chinese that we mean business. The Chinese are here to show us that they don't know how to build ships properly. Corner of the world. 
but you're in this corner of the world. Charge. Well, we're in the sort of situation that you assess Hippogriff and her sisters are going for. selected a target in the first place to pull. Can you tell me that? Huh? You can't. Now you have a selected target. Fire on that selected target. Sure is. No, weird luck. up her guns in the first level time. Now is that maintenance gun turret at full elevation or are you excited to see me? <laughs> don't let him get too close. Panton, don't get too close. Yes, I know you love murdering ships. You've done it as a living in the past, but... Right now isn't really the time for you to do your ship murdering. Right now is the time to just scout out and move. Did you just get single-handed... You just got single-handed and sunk by USS Phantom. Yeah, the lead heavy cruiser got single-handedly sunk by Phantom. That doesn't tell you how much of a badass ship Phantom has become. I don't think it's... <laughs> that she single-handedly took out... Yeah. Horrible one, basically, but she single-handedly took out a heavy cruiser by herself. Uh, uh, right. Crystal Phantom right now because Phantom is the main character here. No, she isn't, that's more small. Phantom's main character.
don't even try and turn towards. Continue running, keeping your distance. God, is this all? Is this all I can send to us? Well, if it is, it's not doing so well for them. So top damage dealer was Hippogriff, followed by Warspite, then followed by Phantom. The poll did hardly anything. Ships, Warspite took the most damage, and even her damage is very, very minimal. No, I don't. Yeah, 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 um. We had just had a battle with the worst of the sisters of the sisters. Topol is the worst of the worst of your children. Sorry, I'm sorry to say that. All those targets, and she didn't hit any of them. No, I'm not sending light cruisers against heavy cruisers. Now it's time to see whether or not... Oh, whether or not, um... China needs to re reconsider existing and not exist anymore. Or, um... If we have to begin another invasion, what are the Russians doing here? I'm sorry, Russia, we were here first. We were here first, we get our but we get the we we're here first, we get Eastern China. So China has been divided essentially by um, France and Germany and now us. Well, hopefully now us. Or they're going to economically collapse. But no, it's going to be us that takes it. <laughs> they're not going to economically collapse before we take Eastern China. I think that was a couple episodes back. And she didn't even really do much. It was a runaway fight. We had one with Leite. Now Leite. She was a good ship. She destroyed a Japanese vessel that had decided to try and raid our merchantmen in the Caribbean. She did her job. And she did her job well. Strike, convoy, invasion, invasion, although one of the invasions is gonna 
and Santa Barbara class battleships. We won. China, goodbye forever and ever. We get to we get to see um, uh, our Tero again. We also get to see a Michigan class in combat for the first ever time with um, USS Iowa. Like, I'm sorry, Avocado, but my favourite one of your children is is Leite, is USS Leite. She's earned her place in the American Navy. Um, but also, because of USS Leite, then we are assessed so much for the rest of the rest of you guys. Louisiana, you detach and then you rejoin. You rejoin, but we have Ulysses Iowa as the lead ship. Sorry for the destroyers that all the capital ships. Plus some others who just so happen to be in the right place at the right time. Tosk, we have a plan. We are going to fit ourselves into the So the sides. So the sides didn't get the ammo.
damage to the material. I don't see how a fraction is still alive. All the swords we lost. Lost your objects. Because of the stupid placement of your funnel. Iowa detach full speed. I trust you can catch them. Odessa. German's gone. Well, Avocado, if you're traveling within the in the Philippine Islands, I would say use air travel. Um, I've heard really, really bad things about your ferry systems, and um, that your ferries and stuff have a tendency to sink because of um, incompetencies and corruptionous stuff um, just look at like Donia Paz and Sulpicio lines just in general We have Eastern China, which means China is as good as gone. Eighteen percent there. Twenty-five. Um, this is the one that started it all. Okay, that one is stalling. But yeah, China is taken, so we are going to move over to Tsingtao and begin preparations to invade Tsingtao. I better not lose. I didn't lose a ship. They lost ships. Good enough for me. Good enough for me and North North East Italy is now American Balkan holding uh, sorry, American Mediterranean American Adriatic holding, sorry. Number whatever it is. <coughs> Are you sure about that?
Okay, good news for me. Everyone can go back into port. As the Adriatic is now 100% safe for American, uh, for American merchantmen, and 100% free from commerce raiding, because Germany lost it, lost their ability to commerce raid in the area. surprised now if we start seeing an American invasion from the land of Northeast China. Uh, the Russians are immediately taking up as much as they can from the new newly freed up areas to the Platypus. Uh, somewhere in the next stream because we are out of time for today. I hope you enjoyed. I hope to see you again. Sounds like it's going silent.